Hello everyone, welcome back to Crack So It. I'm back with a new video and in today's video, I was initially planning to make a review video of latest Evolution Act 7.9.7. .7. However, I encountered a major issue with this room. So I'll be focusing on that particular problem. So let's get started. <music> As you can see, this is the latest Evolution X ROM version 7.9.7, .7, which I have installed in my Redmi Note 8 device. Overall, this version of Evolution X ROM comes with lots of features, customizations, and improvements. But on my Redmi Note 8 device, I experienced a charging related issue. The problem was that when I tried to charge my device, it didn't work. At first, I thought I had an issue with my charging port or other components. However, after doing some research, I discovered that other people were also facing the same problem after installing this version of Evolution X on their Redmi Note device. And this is a serious issue that the developers need to address. To further confirm if the problem was specific to this ROM, I flashed another ROM on my device and the charging worked without any issues. This confirmed that Evolution X 7.9.7 .7 with the September 12, 2023 build has a major charging related problem that I request the respective developers to fix as soon as possible. I have been using this room for the past three days to see if the problem would resolve itself over time, but unfortunately it didn't. You might be wondering how I managed to use this room for three days without charging. The answer is that I found a temporary workaround to charge my phone. What I did was whenever I needed to charge my device, I would power off my phone and charge it. This method worked every time I tried it. Additionally, you can charge your phone by entering custom recovery mode and it works there as well. There's another temporary fix you can try. Go to the battery settings section and inside the charging control option, turn it on and off, then reboot your phone. This should resolve the charging related issue. This fix is specially for dirty flash users, but you can try it on a clean flash as well. However, please note that it's not 100% guaranteed to work because it didn't work for me. So that's it for this video. I wanted to highlight and raise awareness about the major issue with this build and I want to clear that I am not spreading any hate towards this ROM as I personally like this ROM a lot. But this build has a serious bug and it's my responsibility to talk about this issue and aware the people and I'm confident that the developers will release a fix very very soon as many people are reporting this issue as well. This room offers many features and exciting things and I look forward to sharing a more in-depth review once the developers release a fix for this issue. So thank you so much for watching this video till the end and if you liked our video then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksoid YouTube channel. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.